Hello everybody, welcome back to Creative Software Tutorial. And my name is Sopal, so today we are going to continue off with, you know, the happy Halloween theme. Uh, Halloween is around the corner and I, I thought I would do as much, you know, Halloween tutorials as possible. And today I'm planning on doing four of them, okay? So of the, they're very similar, so it's going to be picture over text effect. Of In this case it's jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to try to make this part a little bit better. Because I, I think this part can look a little bit better. I mean, like, but you can still read it, though. It's jack-o'-lantern. It looks super amazing. Especially this part right here with, like, glowing effect right there. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, uh, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And feel free to like the video and share it. It really does help the channel a lot. Again, the, this channel is called Creative Software Tutorial. It used to be called Photoshop Magic. So... This channel currently focuses on the basic and intermediate level of Photoshop and of me playing chess and trying to beat the highest level at least once. Okay, with Stockfish. And all of the, everything in here, they're going to be in the description below. And uh, once you watch my video all the way through, at the very least, pause the video and click on the like button. It really does help the YouTube algorithm so it can be shared with a lot more people. Thank you very much. Okay, so without further ado, we are just going to get started. Okay, so you want to open up Photoshop. You can... You know, obviously have any pictures that you want. So the one thing that you want to start with is it's going to be a brand new thing right here. And our, so when you create a new one, you want your size to be 1280 by 720 or so. It really depends on what it is that you want. This size is a size for YouTube thumbnail. So that's why I decided to choose it. So it just fits with right in, okay? So you can change the color right off the bat of, you know, any color you want. You can change the custom. I changed it to custom for orange because orange is the color of, you know, Halloween. Uh, so, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm going to stick with orange just to keep it consistent. And we are going to click create. As you can see, we have this orange background right here. And now we are going to get started. So the very first thing we want to do is create that, you know, text or whatever text that we want to do, okay? So... We're just going to left click, hold and drag it down here. Now that we have the horizontal one and everything's highlighted. So you want to just click backspace to delete all of them and you just write in your text. So in mine, it's going to be Jack O. So Jack dash O. And then we have this apostrophe right here and then another dash and then lantern. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to change the color of it to white. We want this color to be white, so it's a lot easier to do. So we're going to click on OK. And now we want it to be a lot bigger. OK, so now that it's still highlighted, I'm going to click on this drop down arrow. We're going to click on 72. It's still not big enough. So 72, unfortunately, is the biggest one that we have in here, but you can actually make a custom one. You know, and you can make it like 100 if you want to. So 100. I think I like that. And you want to drag this in a little bit. Uh, the reason why is because when we expand it, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit, it's a lot easier. Okay, so we want it to be as close in as possible. And now we're going to click on the check mark. So when we click on the move tool and we use the keyboard shortcut to transform it, control T, hold the control button down, you tap T, and then this pops up. If we hadn't moved it in, uh, this would have been out here and would have been hard to like make it even bigger so now we can make the text even bigger okay so I'm gonna left click hold and drag one of these corners and as you can see it stays proportional okay uh, when you don't want it to stay proportional you hold the shift button down so in this case uh, I want it to be a little bit elongated I don't want it to be proportional okay so because I am using the latest Photoshop tutorial I mean Photoshop uh, application a 2020 version they decided to make it the opposite where if you hold the shift button down and then you drag it it's gonna it's not gonna stay proportional and you know I think it looks better like this so it really depends on the look that you want I want it to be just like this um, so leave a little bit room for the image that we're gonna bring in so it's gonna look even better because if it's too big it's not gonna look as nice okay and then we're gonna click on the check mark right there and it's gonna be a little bit different than then the thumbnail, I'm going to try my best to make it as best as I can. Um, so, yeah, so as you can see right here, so we have a jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern, and then we have the, you know, on top. Because I'm doing this live, so every image is different, and every, even though you're doing the same thing, it can be a little bit different, okay? Because you're not going to have the exact measurement. So 
now that we're done with this and we are satisfied of where it's at, we are going to bring in our, our image, okay? So you, you can obviously bring in whatever image that you want. And ideally, uh, check the description below to check out the website for Flickr. So you can get all these images for free and royalty free, okay? So we're going to go to File. We are going to click on Open. And we are going to open up our image. So we can just click on this image right here. We can click on Extra Large. So we can pick the right one. So let's find out which one it is. All right. Okay. Oh, I think it's in here. Hmm. I apologize. Okay. I think I think I know where it's at. It's in here. Yeah, I, I didn't get the transfer over. Okay, so we have found our image right here. So this is the image that we we need. And now we're gonna need to click on the the lock right here to unlock it. And now we can actually move it around. So we can move this around. So we are going to left click, left click, hold and drag this image and we are going to drag it. It almost seems like it's out of frame. If you've never seen it before, it can look a little bit strange, but I'm just going to drag it over to the other text. Okay. So as you can see, it automatically changes to uh, this other one, the jack-o'-lantern one. And when I drag it down here, you will see the plus sign and I'm going to release it. So depending on the pixel or the high quality of your image, you know, it's going to be you know, big or small. So mine, the the picture quality is really good, so it, it came out to be really big. So now we want to resize it a little bit, and you want to use the keyboard shortcut, Control T, hold the Control button down, tap T, hover to upper left hand corner until you see the double arrows. Left click, hold and drag it down to resize it to make it a little smaller, and then left click, hold and drag it back up. And this is the port part where it's super important. Okay, so. Now that it's still highlighted, we come to opacity and uh, we drag it down to like 50% or so. This will allow you to be able to see both. So it's like a see-through. So you can still see the jack-o'-lantern, you can still see the other one. I like to keep my image proportional when I do this. So I'm just going to drag it out a little bit here to cover the word jack-o'-lantern. And this is where you have to do your planning. Okay, it's very important that you do your planning to make sure that, you know, so if I were to leave it like this, um, when I make this jack-o'-lantern pop out, it's not going to look as nice. It's going to cover the text, okay? So we want to bring it up a little bit to to not cover the text as possible. Like this area right here, like right now. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So like right now. So it, it is connected to this text a little bit. And that's what we want. We don't want it to be too much. If it's too much, it's gonna it's not going to look as nice. So like this one right here, the upper half, upper half is going to look amazing. Like this part right here, is, it kind of glows. So I, I like it the way it is right now. So what we are going to do, we're going to click on the check mark up here. And we are going to make the opacity back to 100%. Okay. So now that we know it's lined up with the text and everything. And now, now this is a super important part. We're going to right click on here and you're going to click on create a clipping mask. And you're going to see a major change. Okay. So basically all that did was it put the image in the background through the text right here and now it looks amazing by itself sometimes it looks even more amazing when that's the effect that you want but we want a pop out effect okay so to do that we are going to duplicate this by left click hold and drag it down here to the plus sign with a square around it and we are going to work off of the uh, layer one copy okay so immediately what we have to do is we have to turn we have to release the clipping mask from the copy one okay so we're going to click on release one and now we have two of them. So we have this one, which is in the background. You can't see this one. The layer mask is, has been released. Okay. So what, what we are going to do, we're going to make the opacity again around like 50% or so. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So by holding the control button down and then tap the plus sign. And we are going to work it section by section. Okay. So this part is super important. So I'm going to left click, hold and drag it down here, drag it up. So what we are going to do. We're going to come to the select tool and then we are going to right click on it and click on quick selection tool. So this part is super important and your brush size, I don't know what brush size you have right now. It really depends on the last one that you use, but we have a bracket in the upper right hand corner of the keyboard. The left bracket make it smaller. So as you can see, I'm tapping on the left bracket and the right bracket makes it bigger. So because I am working with a big image right here, 
I'm going to make my brush as big as possible to try to cover up, you know, the, the big areas first. Okay, so what we, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to left click, hold and drag, and I'm just going to highlight the areas, the image that I want to keep. Okay, so keep this in mind. You, you don't want to cover this text right here where it says Jack. So you want that, that Jack part to be visible. Okay, so now as you can see, when, when I try to do it, it's not letting me. Okay, and to fix your mistake, I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller too. So to fix this area right here, this small section right here. You're going to hold the alt button down on the up bottom left of the keyboard and then it changes to a minus sign and then you can just click on it right there and there you have it. And I am going to slowly um, keep on holding the, uh, the alt button. I'm going to just erase the areas above the text. So because that this part is super important and it's going to make it look even more amazing. Okay, we just want to, you know, just the section right here of the text so it's not covered. And it doesn't look as amazing right now, but when you have the final product, you're gonna look at it, you're gonna be like, wow, I did all that hard work. So I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I'm gonna hold the Alt button down again. So again, you hold the, you click on the uh, left bracket to make the brush a little bit smaller. Okay, like right here, perfect. And I want to include this teeth back in. I'm gonna include it back in by releasing the Alt button, just like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm going to make it bigger by click on the right bracket, just like so. I'm going to highlight it again. Just the punky that we want, just right there. Oops. You see, it, because the image quality is not all that great, it just skips all the way over there, and which we are going to fix in a little bit. Okay? Just like so. Okay? So I'm going to hold the Alt button down. I'm going to just stay away as much as possible from the pumpkin and the computer will do the rest, just like so. Okay, and yeah, it's okay if these two are together because it's kind of hard to separate the two. And I want this O again, so we are going to hold the Alt button down and we are going to take the O out of there as much as possible because it's gonna look so good, just like that. Okay, and we are just gonna continue off with this section right here. You see that it's covering over the A a little bit. So I am going to left click hold and drag around this pumpkin right here. Yeah, perfect. So now I'm going to hold the alt button down. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller by left bracket, hold the alt button. And then, whoops, you see what's taking us all the way up there, which I'm going to add on in a little bit. So perfect. Okay. So to add on, I'm just going to release the Alt button down, and now I'm just going to highlight the areas back in there, like this area. And you want this area to be as clean as possible, so now I'm going to hold the Alt button down. We're going to erase the the letter right here from the letter. It doesn't need to be perfect, and I think this looks perfect. And it can overlap a little bit. It actually makes it look even more better. So now we're, we're on to our last one. We're making my brush bigger. And just like so. I'm going to make my brush smaller for this hand right here. Oops, and there it goes again. So I'm just going to finish off this area right here of the areas that I want first before erasing anything. We can, okay, so now I'm going to hold the Alt button down and I'm going to make the brush a bit, bit bigger hold the alt button down and now I'm just gonna highlight the blank spaces back here and the computer will do the rest like right here so we have another blank space right here too and we make the brush smaller by holding click on the left bracket and then releasing the alt button now we're gonna finish the hand off right there perfect so now very one last thing is this section right here uh, again we want these letters to be visible okay so I'm gonna hold the alt button down I'm gonna not select these letters so just like so make sure they're not selected so they're visible just like so and I'm going to include this back in there and you would rather have you know some of them included than not 
like this section right here I'm gonna waste the end back in there I want the end to be visible just like so okay so that looks amazing I'm gonna zoom out a little bit control and then minus sign and there you go okay so to make this look even more amazing one last thing you got to do is say you got to come down here click on the add a layer mask which is this dot right here with a square around it the rectangle around it, I mean you click on it and boom there you go and this looks super amazing okay so again the opacity is is still at 37 percent okay we're going to increase the opacity back to if you increase to 100 you're going to clearly see it just like so so depending on you know the image you want I like it to be at a hundred because it's it's literally the effect of the the uh, photo itself that looks it makes amazing and now you can clearly read all these text so it's just Jack Jack o' Lantern okay that looks super awesome so we are going to go to file we're going to go to save as and the first save that you always want to do is you want to save it as uh, just uh, Photoshop format we're going to click save we click OK and we are going to go to file again we're going to go to save as and the second save we're gonna, what we're going to do we are going to save it as a JPEG okay so we're going to click on JPEG click save and then OK so now when we open it up it's going to look super amazing so let's go find it Halloween The name it untitled. We didn't title it. Hmm. Okay, let's save it again. So just go to here. It's a lot faster. And here we're gonna make sure. Oh, yeah, I didn't get saved in the right spot. That's why. Okay, so we come over here. We find the ones check a lantern and then main content okay so we're just gonna leave it untitled just like so okay so now we know exactly where it's at so main content and we're just gonna leave it as untitled right there but we did not make it a we're gonna save it again but this time we are going to save it as a JPEG so we can actually see it okay now we're gonna click OK and it's gonna be there and boom look at that that looks super awesome so you can zoom in a little bit you can actually read it jack-o-lantern you can see it like that that is awesome thank you very much for uh joining me and if you find value at all uh p please pause the video and click on the like button it really does help the channel a lot uh for it to grow because it's a slow growth right now um uh unfortunately so all right thank you very much and i will see you in the next video have a great day bye